And hello YouTube, this is GS Man with Smart, and I'm throwing on a brand new video for tutorials with GS. In today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at Adobe Audition and how to fix one of the most common audio problems when you're recording something, whether it be an interview, whether it be a Skype conversation, whether it be just a collaborative video or you talking to someone else. Sometimes even in your own personal recording, your audio levels will not be matching and you'll have some parts of your audio be very low in volume, some parts be very high in volume. And the way you would usually do this is by well by going piece by piece like so and you know amplifying it or you'd usually highlight the entire thing and you can normalize it that's those are two options that you have but there is a neat little effect in a Adobe audition that actually levels out the audio to a specific level that you want it to be at so here I have an example this is a collaborative video I recorded this is the audio portion of it on my gaming channel uh, me and someone else are talking about a game. I'll let you have a quick listen to it so you can tell what this actually sounds like before we add an effect to it. Uh, what do you think of the patch? Pretty good, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, I also saw recently that they're perhaps going to what's going to happen next. Right. And like I said in uh, one of my previous videos, so as you can see, not only can you tell by the waves here, they're very small and my waves are very big, but you can hear it that the other person in the video here is very low in volume and I'm very loud. So a way to fix this, if you want to make yourself in lower in volume or want to make the other person higher in volume, you can either select a region. So if you only want to add an effect to this region, you can do so. You can also press Control A to highlight everything. We're going to go up to Effects here, head down to the Amplitude and Compression effect, and then head to Speech Volume Leveler. Now the neat thing about this effect is that it has a built-in noise removal as well. So if you go under the advanced section here, you have a noise gate and a compressor with a threshold. You can basically adjust these settings to apply a noise removal effect to eliminate any background noise. However, I do still think the uh, original noise reduction method's better. I do have a video tutorial on that, so if you want to check that out, links in the description as well as an annotation on screen right now with a card. He will teach you how to use a noise reduction method, but you can play around with the built-in noise reduction in the speech volume leveler. So let's go back to the effect here. You have several presets. If you want to have all of your volume be lowered so that you and the other speaker or all of your audio is in a lower level, click soft. If you want it to be loud or strong, uh, medium obviously is medium. So you can create your own preset here as well by moving the sliders around if you want to do so. But I think these three are pretty much the most common ones. And if you want to play around with noise removal and a background noise, you can check the advanced section here and play around with this, but it's not really required. We're going to go ahead and press apply here. And we're done. You can also preview this effect by pressing the play button here. You can preview it. So we're going to press apply and we're going to have to wait till this finishes processing it can take a bit. So once this is done, you'll see that our entire waveform and the entire track is all leveled out. It's all pretty much even. So when I'm talking, when the other person is talking, it's around the same dB level. So if we take a listen to this. Elias, how are you doing? I'm great, you? Doing pretty good. How, what do you think of the patch? Pretty good, right? Oh yeah, I mean, uh, I also saw recently. So as you can see, both of our voices are around the same audio level and it's a bit more audible, it's a bit more hearable, and it makes for better audio. So that's pretty much the tutorial that I wanted to give you guys today. This is actually a problem that I had run into uh, last week and I found this cool little effect here in Audition. thought I'd share it with you. It's a neat little trick and it can help you out if you're having problems with your own audio where you've recorded a track in several sessions and at one point you're very low in volume, other points you're very high in volume, or in a situation like this where another person's in your recording, they're very low in volume. You can use the speech volume leveler effect to actually level out the entire waveform so that it's pretty much normalized. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful and useful. If you did, go ahead and leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment box down below. It'll be down there answering any questions you have. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and subscribe. Lots of other software tutorials on the channel. Audio editing tutorials, video editing tutorials, image editing tutorials. Lots of cool stuff. So if you're interested, go ahead and subscribe. I also have a Patreon page. If you want to donate a dollar, you can do so. Click the card on the top right hand corner of the screen. And it'll bring you to the page. And if you want to check out my vlogging channel, music channel, advice channel, my gaming channel, click the links in the description below or the cards on the end card. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching as always. And this is GSMail Smart. I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.